Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Dusk, a short story by Saki. It is actually a combination of his own musings, an encounter with a stranger and what came out of it. Saki is the pen name of Hector Hugh Munro, that is H.H. H. Munro. He was born in Myanmar and he is a British writer. Later on, he became a very famous journalist. And a few of his famous works are The Open Window, The Interlopers and The Gabriel Ernest. This story uh, revolves around the proverb, don't judge a book by its cover. Generally, we will uh, judge a person based on the appearance. And here he is trying to tell you not to do it. The story begins with a person, Norman Godsby, sitting in the bench in a park and thinking about his life. It is actually late evening and he feels that this dusk is the heart for the people who are defeated and thinks about many examples um, of uh, example of people who are defeated and prefer to live unrecognized. And sitting at that time, he considered himself defeated too. But this defeat is not based on finance, like he has not lost any money. So he thinks about his defeat in a different perspective compared to others. At that time, he sees an old man sitting in the bench next to him. And he felt that this old man also looks defeated. There's this old man, after some time he gets up and he goes. And a young man takes his place. This old man looked very shabby, but this young man looked very well dressed, but he had a troubled looking face. So, Godspy starts talking with him and asks him what the trouble was and the young man narrates his problem. He says that he is new to the place and he had only after coming here found out that the hotel in which he had supposed to stay in had been taken down. So, the driver, taxi driver who drove him, he recommended another hotel and he went to that hotel. Only after going to the hotel, he found that he had forgotten his pack of soap and he did not want to use the soaps provided in the hotel. So he decided to buy a soap. He came out, he brought the soap and afterwards he was not able to go back to the hotel because he lost the route. And now, he says that he has no money because he has paid to the hotel and since he does not know how to go back to the hotel, now he has no place to stay and spend the night. And listening to this, naturally God's way doesn't believe him because uh, it looked something which cannot be believed. And the young man also understands that God's way does not believe him and he says, I can understand my story is unbelievable. And he says, unless someone believes me and gives me some money, I should be living only in the street for the night. And Godspeed replies that while he had been in such a predicament himself, he feels that the young man being without the soap hints that he must be lying. And the young man says that he has lost the soap also which he had brought. So he tries to search for the soap, but he is not able to locate the soap. And he says that maybe just like how I have lost the hotel, I have lost the soap also. And uh, realizing that Godspeed did not believe this also, the young man leaves but he leaves with his head held high. After he leaves, Godspeed finds the soap lying in the ground nearby. And he realizes that whatever this man had said the truth and he felt very sorry for not believing him. So he takes the soap, goes and finds him and gives him the soap and also some money and says sorry. And he also gives his card with, in which he had his address so that the man can return the money later. Accepting more, uh, both the man leaves hurriedly. And now Godsby feels calm and he comes back to his place to sit where he finds an old man searching for something. Now he asks the old man, what are you searching for? And the old man says that he lost his soap in that place and he's searching for it. And the story ends here with a hint of humor. And God's boy finds himself ironically defeated in the very same task he felt defeats people. So the story ends here. It's a beautiful story. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video. Share it with your friends. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.